Yogis, welcome to your Maya Flows. Today's practice, we are working with the ETA experiment. Now, we've been working with ETA these past few practices this week, and we are feeling into that space within us, the space that surrounds us, the space in which we occupy and the sensations or the feelings that arise when we are feeling into that spaciousness within us, okay? The, um, the main thing I want us to focus on today in this practice, in this flow, is that ether is related to or connected to our fifth chakra, which is our throat chakra. And so it's all about, in today's flow, self-expression, the feeling of um, the subtle bodies and how they speak through us, how we communicate. And that's not just vocally, but we will be beginning <laughs> vocally with our breath, but also how we commute with our communicate with our body language and so it's coming back to self-worth and self-acceptance and speaking one's truth within those actions that we take and the way that we share ourselves with the world. So what do we begin in a lion's breath? And the lion's breath can be a little bit confronting for some. We do start seated upon our um, tops of our feet and our shins. There's no need for any props today, so we can get straight into this. You'll want the big toes together to touch. And we'll drape forwards and settle into this fire a few rounds of breath to begin in our balasana. And so with the knees nice and wide, just as wide as the mat and the big toes together to touch, we settle into our seat and take the hands to the mat. Now this position that we'll come back to here with the spine elongated to create that length and that spaciousness through the spine, this will be our position for our lion's breath. But first let's unravel, unfold and arrive. Take a walk down the mat and slowly finding the hands extended forwards. Take an inhale and exhale, pouring the chin today down to the mat. So we're looking to open through the throat and it doesn't matter if the chin doesn't connect. Looking to create that spaciousness through that throat area. And slowly sliding on back in, in preparation for your lion's breath. But we'll take an inhale here and sink the belly to expand. Pour the pelvis forwards to allow the belly to expand. Draw the shoulder blades back together and take the gaze overhead. As you exhale, stay in your seat, round in and open through the back body. Hang the head nice and heavy, releasing through the back of the neck, rounding out through the shoulders and you can press those fingertips tented into the mat to create that extra space and that should feel really good through the back of the neck and shoulders especially. Inhale, we find the neutral spine. Exhale, take our walk. Now we'll take six rounds here. So I invite you to close down the eyes and chin opening towards the front of the mat. Let's inhale and take our sweep. Exhale, open the belly, the throat, and draw the elbows into that soft bend as you gaze to the sky. And curling in, rounding in, opening through the back body. Press the mat away from you. Inhale, neutral spine. Your exhale sinks you back down to the mat. And taking your time, no changes through this. Four more rounds. We inhale to open. We exhale to close down. We inhale to find neutral and we exhale to melt. Getting nice and light off those feet if you feel that there's a little too much compression straight up and really encouraging the opening of the pelvis through this as well. So sinking the belly as you work your way through these postures, all preparing the spine, all preparing the breath and the subtle energy bodies that space of ether 
that is within us, above us, and all around us. Slowly sliding it on back in, open it up, inhale. Beginning to feel a little more expressive with the breath and with the body, two more rounds. Taking that tilt of the pelvis and with the eyes closed down, you're practicing with no one else around. There's no one there to watch you, to judge you. And often that judgment that we presume to be taking place is first and foremost from ourselves, of ourselves. How would it look and how would it feel if you were able to remove that, if you were able to simply go with the flow and express yourself in a way that just felt really, really good. Inhale to your seat. And we'll plant the hands and preparing for our lion's breath. Now with the hands planted down, I just want to read you one quick quote along those lines. And the quote today is from one of my favorite books, Tracy Spencer's Rock Your Light. I know some of you have this already. And it's a really simple quote, but it's say, Tracy says, people will stop questioning you when you stop questioning yourself. And I really feel that. And I want you to feel into that today as well. When you let go of all your inhibitions, when you stop judging yourself, when you stop questioning how it looks and how it's meant to look or sound, you stop questioning your all and people will not question you. You show up whole and share your all. You show up broken and share your all too. A lion's breath as we plug the fingertips into the mat and tent. We're going to take an inhale and scoop the belly just as we have been doing, opening through the throat, the heart. Hang the head to open. And as we exhale, we're going to elongate our tongue, open the eyes super wide and expel the breath with force. So I'll show you one round. Inhale and repeat. We'll be taking six rounds just as we did with our gentle flow. Now, the more expressive you can get here, the louder you're able to release the breath, the wider you're able to open your eyes. Remember, we're really tapping into that element of space, the element of ether, self-expression, the self-acceptance and speaking our own truth. Prepare to speak your truth upon the mat today. Prepare to get a little fiery. Prepare to connect to your throat chakra. Let's inhale and draw open. Expel, express. Five more rounds. Inhale and slowly take your walk, wide-legged forward fold to your balasana. And keep the eyes closed down, come back to the breath. As you remain in stillness just for a moment longer, I want you to set yourself an intention for today's practice to give your all, to share your all, to show your all and to speak your all. And when we show up like that for our practice, and when we show up like that on, on and on purpose, on the mat and off the mat, and we stop questioning ourselves, people will stop questioning us too. Slowly take a walk up the mat and draw the knees together. Let's roll forwards and release out of these feet. Take an extension of that right leg. And enjoy now some space and releasing that compression through the back of the calves and the back of the legs. And then settle back into your tabletop, extending the left, 
taking an extension, maybe take a roll if that feels good. Just releasing and creating that little bit of space now down the backs of the legs. I've just washed my hair so it's all floppy and it's not going to stay. <laughs> so that's going to be a part of my self-expression today. <laughs> and settle into your tabletop and rather than stay with those expected cat cows up and down the mat, I want you to take a few circles, a few rotations and rounds releasing through the spine in any way that feels good for you today. Maybe some circles, maybe some figure eights. Releasing through the chest, the hips. Allow the neck to come into play here as well as you find these beautiful big circles slowly increasing the amount of space you occupy. Slowly increasing your connection to that ether. And experimenting with how it feels when you do so. When you reduce the limitations that we apply upon ourselves. When we stop questioning ourselves and just move in a way that feels good. Yogis, let's settle into stillness and tuck the toes and find a plank pose and then ripple the hips to the sky. Your first down dog, let's pedal out the heels, taking a little walk and rocking side to side, opening through the back of the ankles now, releasing through the ligaments as you take that little rock and roll side to side, and then we'll settle into stillness. Let's slowly take a walk all the way to the top of the mat, finding the feet shoulder width apart and unravel the spine drawing to rise. Take a roll of the shoulders. The mudra we've been working with this week, our ether mudra, we connect our middle finger and our thumb. And for today, we simply create that connection from our tadasana. Three breaths here, spreading the toes nice and wide, spreading the shoulders nice and wide. And there's a big difference here, even in our tadasana, when we take a stand and our feet are close and our shoulders are close. Occupy it all, spread your wings, spread your feet, spread your gaze, your smile widen and expand upon the mat today three rounds of breath deep inhale through the nose slowly releasing the exhale out of the nose and two more rounds of breath really setting that ujjayi and creating that bond and that bind that connection with your ether mudra final breath Long, slow, releasing, exhale. Maybe staying connected to your ether mudra as you extend your arms to the side body. Exhale through the midline. Hands to shins. We halfway lift, creating space for the spine, tilting the pelvis. Long line of energy through the back of the neck. Exhale, ripple down, hands connect to the mat and take a big step back with the left all the way back of the mat. Sink it nice and low in the hips and we're heading straight in for a little warm up flow. That right leg's going to extend all the way back, scooping the mat and opening straight up into a scorpion today. Beautiful. Yogis will square it off and take that right knee across the body, maybe making that little connection with the left elbow. Inhale, open it up once more, feeling into that scorpion. Square it off, taking as much space off as possible. Sliding on back, top of the mat, sink the hips, take the gaze to the front of the room. Step it in, unravel the spine. Super simple. I'll guide you through again on the left. Maybe connecting to that ether mudra. We sweep wide. Exhale, pour it down. Hands to shins halfway. Exhale, belly connects to the thighs. Plant the hands. Step it back on the right. Sink the hips nice and low. Left leg preparing. Step it all the way back and open it straight up into that scorpion. Square it off. Left knee floats through the midline and then take it across the body, maybe connecting to that right elbow. We inhale, open up for that scorpion. 
square it off, scoop through and plant it top of the mat. Sink the hips nice and low. Step it in with the right, unravel the spine. Maybe connecting back to that ether and sweep. Exhale, hands to shins, inhale. Exhale, pour down, forward fold, hands to the mat and step it back with the left. We tuck the toes, tuck the heel and then slowly guide that lefty all the way back. Sink it low in the hips. Each action that we take, each move that we make upon the mat today, made with purpose, made with intent. Right toes sweep the mat and open your scorpion exhale nice and wide pointing the toes back of the room sweep and scoop it across right knee left elbow inhale open your scorpion inhale draw through plant the right and sink it low step it all the way in gracefully slowly inhale we'll connect straight up to that ether and draw to the sky Feeling into some fluidity through the postures now as you connect them. As when we work with that ether, it is that space between the atoms. It is the space that connects us. Right foot, tuck it in. Slowly step it back, sink the hips low. Rather than divided today, we find that connection. We create a connection. Left knee across the body between the postures, between our breath, and square it off. Step it through, sink the hips nice and low, gaze to the sky. Right foot steps all the way in. We plant, unravel to rise. Yogis will take that four more times, both sides, six rounds total. Inhale, exhale, we plant. Right foot, step it back and sink it low. Left to open. Square it off, left across the body. Inhale your scorpion. Exhale, step it in. And sink it low. Stepping in. Unravel, sweep to rise. Exhale, pour through the midline. Inhale, halfway. Staying with your breath, your timing, your tempo. Hands to plant. Left leg steps back. Sink the hips low. Right to sweep and open. Take it across the body. Inhale, we open. Exhale, extend and plant. Sink it nice and low. Step it in, unravel. We rise, find a reach, creating space as you flow through. Halfway lift. Exhale, pour through and plant. Right foot. Sink the hips. Left to open. Take it across the body. Inhale, open your scorpion. Exhale, we step, sink low, right steps in, unravel to rise, sweep it high, exhale, forward fold, inhale, exhale, and plant the hands, left foot steps back, and sink the hips, open on the right, Take it across the body. Inhale to open. Step it in. Sink the hips. Left foot. Unravel to rise. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And plant the hands. Left foot steps back. Right foot to open. Right knee across the body. Inhale, we open. Exhale, sweep and plant. 
left foot steps in. Unravel to rise. And continuing on, two more rounds, yogis, in your own timing, in your own temple, in your own tempo. And plant. Step it back on the left. We sink the hips, sweep. Take it across the body. Final round. Step it in, yogis, unravel the spine, take a roll of the shoulders and find stillness. Maybe coming back to connect to that ether mudra. Thumb and middle finger connected. And sensing and feeling that beautiful, expressive breath, that beautiful, expressive, pulsing heart. As you settle into stillness, filling into the subtle energetic bodies, filling into the shift and the sensations our practice provides, that connection, that union, that bond, body, breath, prana, and life force. Take two final rounds of breath. Yogis, if you need it, take a sip of water now. If you have <laughs> socks or jump up, feel free to release those now. We're going to be adding to our flow today. And postures that we're playing with today. All of them taken slowly. All of them taken with control and intent. Finding yourself top of the mat. Take the feet shoulder width apart. Let's find a roll of the shoulders, yogis. Great big sigh, inhale. Open your mouth, sigh it out and expand. I'm coming back to that stillness. Yogis, let's get ready to experiment. Let's get ready to flow. And taking it nice and slow, inhale, sweep. Exhale, pour through the midline. 
hands to the shins halfway. Exhale, pour it down, connect to the mat, deep bend in the knees, right foot steps back first, set it up back of the mat. Sinking those hips nice and low, just as you did in your warm up flow. Left foot sweeps overhead, take it far, take it wide, find your scorpion. This time as you square it off and draw it across the body, creating that connection with the right elbow, we pause. Extend at the knee, connect to the mat on your outer blade of that left foot. And we'll open into our first peak posture, your fallen triangle. Right arm releases, soles of the feet connect. We open right side of the heart. Square it off, right hand meets the mat. We draw back through, but this time we sweep it. Rather than scorpion, we take it overhead and find a flip dog. Left arm releases now, inhale and open. Exhale, plant the left hand. You've got one final posture there to add, but we'll get nice and warm first. Left foot, top of the mat. Sink the hips, step it in on the right. Unravel the spine, take a roll of the shoulders. Sweep it high. Exhale, release. Hands to shins. Exhale, pour it down. Connect to the mat. Left foot steps back. Sink it nice and low in the hips. Right foot sweeps and opens. Find your scorpion. As we square it off and take that right knee now across the body, we draw through to connect to that elbow, but then extend it out up in alignment with that right hand and draw to open, finding your fallen star, your fallen triangle. Planting. Left hand back to the mat. Right foot sweeps overhead, plant it halfway on the mat, and we open and unravel that right side of heart. As you square it off and plant the right hand, that right foot's going to step all the way top of the mat. Sink the hips nice and low, step it in. Unravel the spine and draw to rise. Sweep the arms. Exhale, pour through. New yogis will take two more rounds as is. Halfway lift. Exhale, connect. Right foot steps back. Left toes sweep to the sky. Find your scorpion. And square it off across the body. Fallen star, extend. Find that connection. And the legs are both nice and long and straight here as you open through that right side. And we stay for one breath. Planting the hand, beautiful big sweep now. That left foot all the way behind you. Open left side of heart, finding your wild thing. Left hand plants, left foot all the way, guiding top of the mat. We step it in. Unravel the spine. Roll the shoulders, sweep it wide. Exhale. Halfway. Exhale, and plant the hands, left foot steps back, sink the hips, right to sweep, take the right across the body, set yourself up in alignment with that right hand, open the left side body, both legs nice and straight here, and plant it on the left, sweep it overhead, find your wild thing as we open right side of the body Prepare giant step, right foot all the way top of the mat and step it in. So beautiful. Yogis, you have one more round through this. Each side, inhale, exhale, halfway, exhale, right foot steps back. Open it up, your scorpion. Across the body, fallen star. Expand and open right side heart. Feel expressive. Your wild thing. Left side exposed. Step it all the way back, top of the mat we plant. Step it in and unravel. One more side, inhale. 
Exhale. Halfway. Exhale, fold. Left leg, step it back. And sink the hips, right foot to sweep and open. I'm your fallen star. Inhale. Exhale, wild thing. Right side exposed and open. All right foot, step it all the way back, top of the mat. Inhale. Step it in and unravel the spine. And take a roll of the shoulders. Yogis, we have one more peak posture, two more final moves. We're going to throw it straight in now while you're feeling nice and warm, while you're feeling nice and expressive. Take one more roll of the shoulder, shoulders and settle into stillness. Just a moment. Connecting back to that mudra. Sweep to rise. Slowing it down just a touch. Filling into the intent of each posture, halfway. Exhale, we melt. Right foot steps back. Sink the hips. Left opens your scorpion. Feed it through as before your fallen star. Inhale to open. Pause. We're going to be taking a seat from here, yogis. So your right hand sweeps overhead and we draw all the way down. Legs are nice and wide. So you're a bit of a triangle here too, I guess, aren't we? Finding that seat for just a moment. Your left hand will stay planted. Right hand extends forwards as we're going to rebound out of our seat. Inhale to rise and take it all the way overhead to meet the mat. So beautiful. Left foot sweeps back just as you did before your wild thing. Inhale to open. Same deal here. This time as you take a seat, you're pointing towards the back of the mat, sending you all over the mat today. <laughs> Inhale, rebounding out of your seat, draw to rise. Rolling through, we'll take a pause here and take a chaturanga. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, can you believe it's your first cobra for practice? Oh. Roll it back, find your velocity. Now take a breath. Oh. And draw through tabletop. We tuck the toes and find your down dog. Step up or jump top of the mat. Let's take that to the other side. Unravel the spine. Sweep to rise. Taking it nice and slow, yogis, now that we've found our way all the way to our peak flow. Pour through the midline. Halfway lift. Exhale. And plant the hands. Left foot steps back. Sink the hips. Right foot sweeps, open your scorpion. Drink through the midline, take it across the body and plant and find your fallen star. Take a pause. We sink into the hips, finding our first seat on this side. Prepare, inhale, rebound out and rise. Sweep it all the way overhead. Right foot now sweeps overhead to find your wild thing. Right arm opens to the sky. Rotate that right side of the chest and take your seat. You got it. <laughs> Inhale, draw to rise. Take it all the way overhead. Find your plank and take your flow. Inhale. Shoot it back. Exhale. Three rounds of breath. Ah, oh, yogis, we found it. Take one more breath. Slowly drawing up to your tabletop. Let's tuck the toes. Find your plank pose. Take a breath. Hips to the sky, your down dog. Step up or jump all the way top of the mat. Unravel the spine. Take a roll of the shoulders and rise. We have time, yogis, for twice more right through that exact flow. No changes, no surprises. I'm feeling in and just working with your breath count. Inhale, we sweep. Exhale. Inhale. 
Exhale. Right foot leans. Step it back. Scorpion to sweep. Fallen star. Open. And take your seat. Rebound straight out this round. Right hand plants and find your wild thing. Inhale, we open. Exhale to your seat, rebounding straight out. Sweep it overhead and take your flow. Inhale. Send it back, tuck the toes. Hips to the sky, step up or jump top of the mat. Unravel to rise straight in, left side. Exhale. Inhale. And plant the hands. Left foot. Right toes sweep. Your fallen star on the right. And take your seat. Rebound out. Wild thing. Inhale, open. Exhale your seat. Inhale, rise. Square it off and flow. Staying with the breath. Finding that fluidity, creating that connection, but also exploring and experimenting with your expression this final round find yourself top of the mat no more guidance with the breath i encourage you to take this in your own timing right leg leads working you to your tempo but explore each posture experiment with how expressive you can be how deep how open you can become when there's no judgment, when there's no one questioning. You're not questioning yourself. And there's no one there to question you. I'm simply flowing with how it feels. And they say dance like nobody's watching. Explore and flow like nobody's watching you today. And yogis, we're taking our final round. This is your chance to really experiment. Experiment with your space. Experiment with your ether. And take your final flow. Send it all the way back. Find your balasana and take your hands with you. Backs of the hands to rest beside the feet. Releasing the breath. Deep inhales and exhales. And if we can experiment and explore our own ether and if it can feel magical and it can feel powerful, imagine if we lived in that space. Imagine if we didn't shy away from feeling into that with each action we took on the mat, off the mat, no matter who was there. Imagine how our peak experiences could be and could feel. Yogis, take your final breath and bring a smile to the face knowing that you have expanded that field within you today. You have connected 
to that expressive part of self today. And slowly unravel the spine and draw to rise. Let's take a roll of the shoulders. And take yourself off the feet, off the shins. Find the sit bones connecting to the mat. And finding yourself all of the space around your mat, adjusting any way you need and draw the knees in. Take the feet nice and wide. Give yourself a beautiful big hug and squeeze, drawing the forehead down, maybe connecting to the knees, if that feels good for you. Yogis, we've taken so many ranges of motion with the spine today through flexion, through extension, worked with and frontal lines and posterior lines and diagonal lines. Let's begin unraveling it and take the hands to the shins as you slowly draw the forehead to rise. Finding just a moment in balance as you draw the knees in nice and tight and then release your grip, open the palms, open your shoulders, your chest and we'll take just one foot at a time to extend. Experimenting and exploring your balance. Maybe it feels okay and you can take both to extend. From here, we're slowly going to be sweeping the hands overhead, extending the legs. Exhale, draw it back into the chest, finding balance, draw down the forehead. Inhale, sweep to open. And finding a V. Exhale, drawing it back in. Once more, inhale. Extending and slowly lowering the body all the way to the mat. And once your back body reaches the mat, take the hands overhead. And just as you did in your Navasana, let's sweep back overhead and draw the knees back into the chest now rounding out through the back body, drawing the forehead back up towards the knee. This time as you sweep and extend, we'll extend the legs, extend the hands, find the body nice and long, take a breath. And we'll take that twice more. Exhale, find your curl. Forehead draws towards the knee. Inhale, find the body long. Exhale, final time, feel into that core stability and support required. All this time as you inhale and open, we walk the heels out nice and wide. And keeping the hands overhead today, take the arms out nice and wide, opening your palms. Allowing the feet to drape to the sides of the mat. Falling out and folding out. Just like your fallen star, your fallen triangle. And as you settle the breath and we settle the body. We take a clearing, inhale and exhale to prepare to drop you deeply into this state of support and stillness and draw the breath in through the nose and feel expansive and feel expressive as you open your mouth, <sighs> sigh out the breath and release. And yogis, if you have the benefit of time on your side today, please do now hit pause as you have earned yourself the sweetest, most restorative savasana. If you're needing to stick to time today, we'll slowly draw back into that little ball that you found. There's just one knee at a time.
Let's take a roll to your favorite side. And press into the mat to rise. Keeping the eyes closed down. And we find a comfortable seat. People will stop questioning you when you stop questioning yourself. How ethereal light is that self expression, that acceptance, it's our communication. And our ability to speak our truth. It's the lightest, most subtle element, and it's the container for everything. Ether is the space between you and me. It is the space between your inhale and your exhale. It is the space between every atom. Yogis draw your hands into heart center and notice that space between your left hand and your right hand. Inhale and spread your lungs, your rib cage wide. Open your mouth, sigh out the breath, exhale and release the heaviness and feel into that light, spacious sensation. May you, yogis, as you leave the four corners of your mat today, enjoy your space, feel into and embrace all of that space for this journey, this life, is the ether experiment. Namaste.